so 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 let's start with the first question which i have given you which is this to find the domain of this problem first we need to see what restriction we have on the root function what restriction we have on the sin inverse function the square root function you know has to be greater than equal to 0 and the sin inverse function this part of the sin inverse function should lie between minus 1 to 1 these are the two conditions that needs to be satisfied so from here I'll get or x less than equal to half okay from I'll get this condition now separately solving I'll get right or I'll get a3 now I need to combine this two so I'll get So, x can take only these values. So, my domain is this or I can write the domain as note that I have put a uh, brackets like this. That means these two points minus 1 by 3 and half are included in the solution. Okay. Now, let us take the second problem. The second problem which I had given you was I had asked you to find the domain of this question. Now, again we have a square root function. So, you know that the square root is function is defined only for positive values. So, this should be true this again has to be true now 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 to solve this part and to solve this part we take help of the number line the roots are minus 2 and 2 the roots here are minus 1 and 1 okay okay if I take a value greater than 2 then what happens if I take great value greater than 2 both numerator and denominator are positive so I get a positive sign here I get a negative sign here I get a positive sign so I can take any value between this but this can be included but this can't be included because this makes denominator 0 so x can be greater than or equal to 2 or s can be less than minus 2 in this case, if I take a value greater than 1, numerator is negative. So, here I have negative, here I have positive, here I have negative. Now, now, minus 1 is not included because this will make the denominator 0. So, I have something, this range of values of x. Okay. Now, this and this condition should simultaneously hold true but you see that this is, doesn't come in this part you see minus x to minus x sorry x belongs to minus 1 to 1 is excluded in this part so the intersection of these two is null or there is no value of x for which this is defined so this function can't take any values of x or this function has an empty domain we call it. okay okay fine fine now so now let's move on to the third question which i had given you the third question which I had given you was y equals to 
log of x minus 4 okay. now here we need to use the properties of the logarithm function the log function says that this has to be greater than 0 and not equal to 1 and this has to be greater than 0 so my first case is x minus 4 should be greater than 0 and not equal to 1 and the second case should be x minus 11 x plus 24 is greater than 0 okay now if i say x minus 4 greater than 0 i get x plus greater than 4 and not equals to 5 and from here if i factorize it i'll get 0 or x lies less greater than find this let's take the help of the number line you can take values like this so from here to here from here to here positive positive negative so x is less than 3 or x is greater than 8 okay and from here i get x is greater than 4 so the union of this two is domain is from 8 it can take any value from greater than 8 because greater than 8 it also takes into account this greater than 4 to infinity so this is the domain of the values of x right now we move on to the last problem which i had given you now the last problem was this okay to solve this question you need to know few important things let's see what this question has the log function it has the box function it has the square root function it also has the trigonometric function cos x and sin x let's first see you know that the trigonometric function all the trigonometric functions sin cos and tan are positive from 0 to pi by 2 then here sine is positive here tan is positive and here cos is positive okay the things you need to take into consideration are that this whole expression has to be positive this has to be positive square root inside this whatever we have has to be positive now if i take any value of x here you see that sin x is positive so box of that will be zero cos x is negative so box of that will be minus one so i can't take a value in this interval right if i take a value between zero to pi by two what will happen is both of these are positive so they will cancel and i'll get a zero term here right this can't be zero also because this is in the denominator so i can't take any value between this interval if i take any value in this interval both of them are negative so this will give me minus one and minus one so this again gets cancelled minus one minus of minus one will get cancelled i'll get a zero term here so this is also not true because i can't have a, a zero in the denominator the only region where i can take a value is this part here what will happen is this interval what will happen is cos x is positive so i'll get integral part as zero sin x is negative so i'll get the box of that box of a negative number between 0 and minus 1 will be minus 1 so i'll get this so i'll get a positive term as 1 